everyone, this is Barman973, and welcome back to another Working at Wendy's video log. Now, this is for last week. Um, I, even though I've worked two days this week, we're going to be focusing on last week, and I'll get to this week at the end of this week, hopefully. Uh, last week, uh, we'll start with uh, Memorial Day, which was, um, let's just say, a train wreck. Um, not only were we busy uh, in the lobby and through the drive through um, I don't know if we, like, missed a shipment, or didn't, or just didn't order enough, or, or what have you, cause, uh, cause we ran out on that day, Vanilla Frosty, mm, let's see, medium cups, uh, medium and large fry, uh, cartons, uh, I think we ran out of, uh, we ran out of buns. I don't know if I said buns, but we ran out of buns. And those are the just ones I just remember. Oh, never mind. We ran out of mayonnaise. Remember that we ran out of mayonnaise. And it was so embarrassing to have to tell people, I'm sorry, we don't have medium fries. I'm sorry, we don't have large fries. We, we don't have vanilla frosty. Luckily, I got to go home just as we ran out of mayonnaise, so... <laughs> At least I didn't have to deal with that. I didn't have to deal with no buns either. And in fact, uh, we had a customer come in, and he was, you know, fairly angry. Uh, uh, and I get it that the bun that was used was one of our junior buns, and not a premium bun, because they were gone. We didn't have any. Uh, but his major complaint was that there was, that he said, "When did you start putting American cheese on your sandwiches?" I just said, sir, we've always put American cheese on our sandwiches. Well, this is disgusting. I want my money back. So we gave him his money back, threw away his sandwich. Um, so, so yeah, that was an interesting day. And then Tuesday, uh, it was just almost as busy. Um, not quite as busy, but almost. And uh, I don't, I don't remember too much about that other than the fact that it was busy. Wednesday, uh, I, w I went in a little earlier, worked, um, uh, I think it was 9.30 to 4, I think, so I uh, got to work uh, then, and uh, after work I got to go on a nice picnic with my uh, with my mom, my grandma, my Aunt Carletta, my sister, and my brother-in-law. I uh, went to the Bear River State Park, had a picnic, just some KFC chicken mashed potatoes and whatnot that my mom had bought. Um, when they came into town, it was really, really nice to be able to see her and my, and my grandma. Uh, I thought Dad was coming down too, but he decided that he didn't want to be stuck in the car that long. And, uh, you know, I don't want to be stuck in him to be stuck in the car that long either. It causes him a great deal of pain. But I, I will say that uh, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get to see him. Um, then... Uh, Moving on to Thursday, I believe, thir I, I can't even, yeah, it was Thursday that I actually worked my shift, 11 to 4, and covered another employee's shift, the, I guess you should say the rest of her shift, uh, from 6 to 9, and uh, I will say that I'm kind of glad that I had gotten that break in between. Well, it's more like 6 to 8.25 because we were getting slow and they didn't really need me much any longer. And I was tired, so uh, they sent me home and I went home. Yeah. Um, then uh, Friday, uh, just uh, last day, and uh, because of the weakness on my left side, I have trouble standing on my feet for more than like five hours at a time. And it causes me a great deal of pain, not not only in my weak left leg, but my but my right leg who, that has to hold uh, at least like three quarters of the weight of my body. Um, so, and just that's like I kept saying, do it. My leg cramps have leg cramps, and I was in some actually ser pretty serious pain. But once I got home, took some Tylenol and rested. They they felt semi okay uh then uh, i was then saturday and uh, by the way um congratulations to everyone who has graduated this year 
I can't believe that I graduated 10 years ago. And uh, turns out it's almost my 10th year anniversary for YouTubing. Um, on my old channel, um, I looked it up just a while ago and it's like, I first uploaded that video in 2010. So, if I remember correctly. Uh, so it's it's been a while. Um, so it's just uh, and, and uh, uh, the reason I went is went in there on Saturday. I worked six days. Um, I worked uh, an evening shift uh, because of the gra uh, one person uh, her boyfriend was graduating, and uh, I. Uh, I so I said I would cover the shift. Uh, bad decision on my part, because by the end of the day, my my legs were absolutely screaming at me. I could barely stand, and uh, it didn't help the fact that when my shift time was 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 coming up, uh, over with, uh, we got slammed through the drive-through. They just kept coming and coming and coming, and there was only four of us there. Four. four? There's only four of us there, uh, and and they were behind on closing. But you know, I don't really know much about closing because I've always worked days uh, or up to eight o'clock, which I've only done some basic pre-close. Um, it was just just totally hectic, and I even as tired as I was, as pain as I was, as as much pain I was as in, I stayed for like an extra half hour. Uh, and at that point, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. I couldn't stand it anymore. I was about ready to collapse there on the ground, and I wasn't going to be, and I wasn't going to do that to my manager because that would just cause even more problems than she would have had. So uh, I told her I can't stay anymore. I have to go home. And uh, she left, and I felt absolutely horrible, just just wretched that I had left her. Uh, and to the two other employees through what basically was uh, a late rush, and uh, and I I kept I kept thinking, do it. She hate she's gonna hate me for this. She she's gonna hate me because because I left when they were so busy, even though it, you know I stayed a half hour extra. And, and she never asked. I did it because I felt I needed to help. Uh, and I felt like I'd done something wrong by leaving. And maybe I did. I still feel kind of bad about it, but she seemed okay when I, when I talked to her uh, today uh, at work. And, and that, was, that was basically the week. Um, I know it's, it's not much for people to work, you know, 40 plus hours a week, but it's harder for me because my weakened left side, and I do my best. And I, I've been trying to take some Tylenol, which is about as powerful painkillers as I can take, um, without going into anaphylactic shock. So I'm doing my best. Um, we're, uh, and uh, but do it. Hopefully, it's going to look good for uh, the paycheck. Because last week, uh, no, the week before last week, I worked 24 hours, and last week I worked 30 hours. So. At least I'm going to be able to pay my rent uh, here coming on uh, Friday. So uh, that's going to be good to be able to do that and still have some money left over. So can't complain about that. Uh, so, and anyway, this has been Poor Man 973, and I hope you all have a nice day. Mom, 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 mom.